Hello, welcome in. This is our last episode of What's New Wednesday until the leaderboard is over. After that, who knows what's gonna happen. So we got quite a bit to cover. The final week, we are gonna be talking about the token price and how wrong I was last week. Special crafting event this week, weekly crafting events, and that's about it, nice and simple. Token price, last week. Let's show you what I said and how wrong I was. This is where we were last week. Okay, it was Wednesday. We thought we'd seen a pattern that had been happening week after week, due in part because of leaderboard, but also because of macro forces and leaderboard points, right? So leaderboard point event happens, pump, dump, pump, dump, that kind of thing. So last Wednesday, we assumed this pattern would probably continue and it would pump up to, let's say 65 cents, 66 cents. Said that it could go two ways, right? We could see it continue or we could see a reversal. And I said that we might might see it go down to like 45 cents like here well that wasn't correct it went all the way down to 32 cents it was crazy very unexpected and you know i was thinking about it like why would something like this happen and i think it's important to note that like on a larger scale the larger crypto market everything from big time to solana to ethereum it all dumped last week so that's definitely not going to help the big time token price but i think there is a more specific factor that happened as well inside of big time and their ecosystem that could have contributed to the dump in token price so wednesday comes around and they release an update right last week they released an update on the 12th so that would be to tuesday right yeah so on tuesday they release an update epoch chests are now spawning inside of people's spaces and especially during the first few days of that there were some issues one people were able to just open epoch chests for free sometimes and get a bunch of big time two other people who were like whales who had all legendary or above hourglasses essentially had like a hundred percent chance to get an epoch chest bonus from the epoch chest which meant that these whales with large amounts of spaces and large amounts of epoch chests were able to open thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of big time at a reduced cost. So they were essentially buying big time at like a 30 cent return because the token was at like 50, 60 cents then. So I do think that's a huge factor that people might not be factoring in here that big time introduced a new mechanic to the game. It was thoroughly exploited and just not ready. So all of the whales who had a lot of amount of spaces, who had good hourglasses, were able to just go around their, their metaverses, which are ginormous, and just basically buy big time at a completely reduced cost. Probably like a 50% markdown at least. So that's definitely gonna affect the token price. All of these whales now have an extra 11,000 big time, 12,000, 15,000 big time at their disposal. What are they gonna do with it? They don't need it even for the leaderboard because now they have so much of it. So they're gonna dump it on the market. And I think we did see that. Like I said, there's some larger forces at play here, some macro forces, but there was also some like very targeted issues that were happening within big time that I think caused the token price to dump much further than I'd expected. And it sucked, let's put it that way. Okay, but let's look at what can we expect next with the big time token? I don't think that people who are popping free epoch chests are gonna get kicked on the leaderboard because it doesn't directly affect the leaderboard. It gives them more tokens to potentially move up the ranks on the leaderboard, but that's neither here nor there in my opinions they got away with it essentially and i missed out i took a day off it's always the days that i take off that things like this happen so anyways what do we expect next for the big time token well if we look at the daily and we zoom out here we can kind of see okay last pump we had up to a dollar we saw a lot slower of a consolidation trend all the way down to 32 cents once it finally hit 32 cents we saw a trend reversal and we saw like a pretty gradual incline as well like a gradual decline and then a gradual incline this time this boat of consolidation we can see that it was a lot sharper a lot more constant all the way down to 32 cents but once again we seem to have seen a rebound it remains to be seen really if we're going to actually see a trend reversal here but if we do sharper decline means sharper incline typically right how bouncy is your ball if we look on the hourly right we see that we do see a little bit of a trend reversal here it looks like it could be one we might see it sort of crack 
battle along a little bit before we see it make a decision whether it wants to move upwards or downwards but the 32 cents line here i think it's the strongest support that we have on the big time token so if we lose this support then we're gonna see like 26 18 cent sort of token prices and i don't know if that's gonna happen but you never really know the whole market crypto market right now today is a little bit more bullish token prices are going up all across the board so we'll probably see big time do the same if we can reclaim 40 cents i think we'll probably be good and we might see us move all the way up to 60 cents or more again for the past last few days of the leaderboard if we look at the daily that could be a pretty sharp incline you know we might see the token price do something like this and i mean i'd like to see that but we'll have to see when we look at the daily macd and the rsi they are looking a lot more oversold unlike last week where they were kind of trending in the middle of their range you know rsi down at the bottom of this range this is typically an entry point and macd bottom of the range as well and trending into the green it looks good on the daily and if we zoom in to the four hour once again we do see a little bit of a different trend here but that's because the last four hours have been pumping up if you're thinking about trading um within like a four or eight hour period now would probably not be an entry point but you know who knows where we'll be in a week from now i do think this is the first time we've seen the four hour rsi up and over this middle range since we've seen that decline last week and same thing the macd you know it's been trending down for quite a while in the red pretty much the whole week and we finally are starting to see some green and and the blue line crossing over the orange line here so it looks good on the daily we see a lot of potential for upward movement on the four hour we see some upward movement it's just it remains to be seen if we can reclaim 40 cents then uh, i think we're probably going to be pretty good here and that's about it for the token price we were talking about last week how big time had made a huge mistake with this egyptian weapons crafting event where they were requiring you to have a unique unique special rare schematic to be able to craft one of the three rare items you need to craft two of them all the way down to zero and they just were not crafting anywhere close to fast enough so they weren't crafting anywhere near fast enough and i said they had to make some changes they were either gonna have to change it so that any rare schematic would be able to craft them completely abolish the schematics or just cut off the craft so what they did do on friday the day that that video actually got published they go and they remove the schematics completely from this crafting event which is good to see. It still has been like a slow grind getting these rares crafted out. Right now we have one rare item that's been crafted down to zero and another one with a few hundred left. So hopefully we see the epic start to be craftable by Thursday because there are only so many days in the leaderboard and we're gonna talk about that a little bit in a second here. Another update that they did with this is they made it so that now the second craft, which should be an epic, will give you triple the leaderboard points and the fourth craft will give you five times the leaderboard points quintuple so that's a lot of extra points definitely going to be really affecting the leaderboard and how that shakes up so that's pretty crazy and basically they say they tease the next a couple days later that here's the legendary sword that is craftable but you guys need to craft the other ones first they're really trying to push this craft i think they acknowledge they know that they kind of screwed up with this whole schematics thing for a rare craft and they're trying to really push it so so that we can get these crafts in especially because they said they're going to give quintuple leaderboard points on these well then there still has to be a leaderboard for this to happen it's definitely not a money grab it's all the people who were supposed to be crafting this ancient egypt crafting event who are going how the hell do we do that because the leaderboard is not actually giving them money for the most part the only parts of the leaderboard that gives them money are crafting challenges that include hourglasses right crafting cosmetics doesn't give them money so it's not really a money grab for them it's really just allowing leaderboard contenders to actually have a chance to do the crafts that they said that we were supposed to be able to do so it's not really a money grab okay so we talked about that that's the sword we'll see what happens there next we have the week nine leaderboard challenges these are pretty boring in my opinion complete 12 daily bounties for 1500 leaderboard points refine one augmented infused and saturated terracore for 7000 leaderboard points like who's got 
got an exalted armory. And then the last one, also pretty hard to accomplish. Apply two gold bonus rolls while crafting hourglasses. That's 1,500 leaderboard points. Meh. The last weekly challenges are literally can be described as meh. Moving on though, on the 18th. So last week I was saying that they gave an update and in the update they added seasonal event content. I didn't really know what that was going to be. Of course, it was St. Patty's Day. So on the 18th, while I was sleeping, of course, they released an extra special crafting event event with once again extremely enhanced leaderboard points where you could craft a legendary shield and get four times the leaderboard points on it or a mythic hat and get five times the leaderboard points on it that's insane five mythic crafts essentially in one and of course i missed it i woke up and there was like a hundred or so legendary shields left to craft and i just said you know what screw it i'm gonna save my resources for the egyptian crafting event hopefully that actually happens the final thing we have being talked about to Today is the finish line frenzy which is essentially like the last midweek madness it starts now and ends on March 23rd because big time has increased the leaderboard end date by one day to give people a chance to finish up their crafts especially with regards to the Egyptian craft you know their exact explanation for it is that to address the crafting complications experienced by players earlier this week we are extending the leaderboard so that could be several things but I think it's the end of the day they know that the egyptian crafting event did not go as planned and they need to extend the leaderboard one day and during this time double leaderboard points will be applied for all cosmetic crafting events offering a prime opportunity to surge ahead and there will be faster crafting times for cosmetic recipes allowing quicker progress but event and decoration craftables it does not apply to this and in the same sense you know is it going to be double leaderboard points on a 5x quintuple leaderboard craft for those legendary swords i think not i think that it won't affect that's it for this week's what's new wednesday if you guys are watching this in the future make sure you guys throw down a subscription a follow like comment do all that stuff tell your mom and yeah i will be seeing you guys next week bye